Welcome back to another video here at Joe Daddy's Garage. As you can hear, I'm out of the paint booth. I'm going to be spraying epoxy primer on the fenders and the hood and various other pieces for the 68 Mustang known as Jade. If you like videos like this, I suggest you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to get more. Now, let me tell you what's going on. If you've been following along with the build, I have a 68 Mustang Coupe that I've been working on for quite some time. And over the years, I've done a variety of things to it. I've put in floor pans, uh, front aprons, core support, rear quarter panels, tail panel, wheelhouses. I've put in power steering, power brakes, rebuilt engine, rebuilt transmission, rebuilt suspension, all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested in that, go to the playlist and look up Jade, and that'll tell you the story of the car. The car itself is in primer. The main body is in primer. It's looking good and I have to get the rest of the pieces ready to have high build primer put on them. As you can see, this fender over here has epoxy on it. That is from a repair video that I did last year, I think, or early this year, where I fixed the fender. It had some rust damage in the back, and it has epoxy on it. This fender, I've recently done a series of videos on to repair this fender from its impact damage that it had up front. So you can go back and look at those videos as well. Right now in the booth, I have the two fenders, the brand new hood, which I sanded down and got all the uh, EDP coating off of. You know, there's a debate on whether that's a good thing or not. Uh, I try to play it safe in most cases and just remove the EDP coating and apply a coat of epoxy and then go from there. The underside of the hood, I'm not going to strip it down. I will scuff it, prime it, and then move forward. Along with those pieces, I have the quarter panel extension sitting here. I have the front valance, the front of the rear valance, the front headlight buckets, the rock guard, and the rings that go inside of the headlight buckets themselves. All of these pieces are going to get epoxy on them. This fender that's already black, it may not get a full coat of epoxy because it's already, it already has epoxy on it, but there are areas that I worked on that I'm going to reapply some epoxy to it. So I've already prepped the whole fender. I will point out, all of these pieces have been scuffed with, uh, well obviously sanded down, but then scuffed with red scotch bright to make sure that I haven't missed anything. And then they were degreased. Well, they were actually cleaned with Windex, I'll say that. I spray them with Windex and I wipe everything down to get all the dust off, blow them dry. And then I come back and I use a degreaser. And I'm gonna give you a demonstration on the degreaser that I use and how I use it. As you can see, this is the 6768 hood with the turn signal cutouts. So I've sanded down this whole hood and I cleaned up the area around where the cutouts go. And I've already wiped it down with the Windex, but I want to show you I'm going to use this product right here, Shopline JX101. And what I've done is I've put it in a Meguiar's bottle. JX101. And the way this works is you get you know clean paper towels. I'm going to spray kind of a dusting spray on top of the panel. You want to see a nice sheen on there. Then you're going to wipe it down. You can see how much still pulling off debris from that. Now what you want to do is take dry shop air. Uh, I have a filtration system built into the booth, so I have shop air that's dry and contaminant free. And I'm going to blow on this with the air hose and make sure this all evaporates. You don't want any residue showing up back whenever you go to spray.
Alright. Now that panel, other than if you want to, you can take a tack cloth, if you want to, and wipe it down. It doesn't hurt to do it. It's probably a good idea. There could be still some excess on that or various other panels that I'm doing. So I may wipe all these down with a simple tack cloth. So today, I'm going to spray some DTM epoxy primer. And I've shown this before. I've used this primer before. And so far, I've seen good results with it. So I really can't complain. Um, it seems like a good product. And I haven't seen any conflict with any other products that I've used with it. Now, this kit is a one-to-one -one mix ratio. So one part of the primer to one part of the epoxy catalyst. I'm also going to be using... This is now. These are old school uh, PPS cups from 3M. the The version they have now is slightly modified from this version, but from what I understand, you can still buy the components as kind of a knockoff. Um, but I, I have a bunch of these, and again, PPS cups, and I'm going to be spraying with a very generic purple spray gun. This one it came in a kit that I bought at the paint store. So I've used this many times and this has a 1.8 tip in it. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put a respirator on because I don't wanna breathe this stuff. And of course on the PPS cup, it has various indicators on this interior label. It tells you your ratios. So you have one to one, two to one to one, three to one to one, four to one to one, six and eight to one to one. Now, what I'm going to do is the uh, one to one. So I'll come up to the five and then go add the uh, catalyst to the next five. I may go a little bit over because I know there's some excess room above the top of the uh, label. Might as well take advantage of that space, right? I will also point out, I had this on the paint shaker for probably 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna check it, see if it's okay. Okay, I have a gun. And then shaking up pretty good. Now 
now it's locked on. Let me show you that. It's got a locking device there when you rotate it. And then I learned this the other day. If I sorry, I learned this the other day. If I were since I have an air pocket in there, I can spray the gun. And it'll draw up the paint, or actually draw the air out, so that I'm spraying paint much faster. Just kind of an observation, may not be really necessary, but just something I thought was kind of neat. All right. Starting to run short.
I thought I'd give one final look after everything has dried out overnight. There was a comment on one of my Facebook posts that they had used this kind of primer before and it ended up with a grainy kind of finish to it, but there's no grain in this. This is this is very smooth. Now will I still scuff over it? Probably, but very smooth. I mean, I, I don't feel much of anything, if anything. I mean, there may be one or two little spots that are just very small, but yeah. I'm happy with that. On a side note, my compressor died last night. I come out to the shop this morning, I could smell smoke, and apparently it had tried to run, and the belt burned off of the motor. So thankfully there was no issue other than having the motor running for a period of time, and it's time to do something with this compressor. I'm surprised it's lasted this long. I checked the date on it. It is a 1992 tank and I replaced this motor uh, 20 years ago with one from Northern so it has held up fantastic but yeah it's not it's not doing anything. <laughs> All right, that'll be the end of this video. Even if I wanted to do something else, I can't. I need to have my air compressor. I need to be able to use my air tools. I can't spray paint. I can't do anything. So I'm dead in the water at the moment, but it gives me a chance to look at either upgrading the air compressor or maybe doing a repair on that one. I'm not sure yet. The tank on that one is a 92, so it's probably not worth it to keep on operating it. Eventually it's gonna fail. The motor on it was good. I know I replaced that several years ago. It has no problems, but I think I just need to get a new compressor. So that's it. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for helping support this channel all you can. And until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya. At least, again, on the top side where I'm concerned with uh, turn, uh, turn signal indicators. Uh, I've had good results with it. I don't see any conflict with mixing it or having other blah, 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 blah. There are other things that I, well, you know, it's too much echo. Echo. Well, that looks like it's going to be the end of this video. Even if I wanted to do more work or anything, I can't. I need to have... Well, the air compressor... Let's do that. The air compressor is kaput. There's more to come, I promise. I just need to take care of some things. Yay! <laughs> Until next time. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you.